Good morning. So today is going to be a day in the life of starting with coffee. So as you might have seen in the title, this is going to be a day in the life of a reseller. Um, I kind of just get my morning started a little bit slow. My hair is a mess. I should put it in a ponytail, but I am just enjoying some coffee to get the day started. And I always watch um, a little bit of like Netflix or YouTube or something while I sit here and just start to wake up a bit. So I probably put like 30 minutes into that. And I'm just going to go about the day. I have a little bit of an average day planned. Um, and I, I don't know how long it will be. So just depending on when I remember to take my camera out and what I'm doing. I may or may not include like personal stuff. You know, as far as like what I'm eating, taking the dogs for a walk, exercises, stuff like that. I might just try to keep it reseller content. Um, just to not make the video too long. But we shall see. I have four items that I'll package up and we'll go from there. All right, now it is time to pull my items, maneuver through. I have, okay, so I have a lot of stuff here, but this item sold a sock slider that sold on eBay, and then I sold some shoes, these right here, purple Converse, those sold on Poshmark. I sold another pair, this one here, Aqua Lung. I'm gonna need two hands for that. All right, and the other item that sold is in my bins. It is a t-shirt. Okay. Okay, so the shirt and the Converse sold on Poshmark, so I do not have to worry about weight. Uh, the sock slider is over a pound. I just want to make sure that it's not over two pounds. Nope, yeah, so that's going to go priority. And then these are the Aqualung shoes. I already cut it open because... They're over two pounds, so I am going to take them out of the bag and just put them in a poly mailer because they're pretty durable shoes. So, yep. so that brings the weight under two pounds, so we'll do that for shipping. All right, I printed out my labels. I have them here. These are my cards. I just put a little sticker on the item, so I am going to package these up. The shoes I will put in a bag. Um, and then they'll go in a box because it's Poshmark, so you don't have to worry about the weight. And then I'll show you guys when I'm finished. All right, we're at the post office, and you can completely not tell who I am. So, I'm going to drop off these packages, and then I'm going to meet my mama for lunch, and then we'll get on with the day, the work day anyway. I got four goodies in here. I love when the line is really long, and you get to just cut in front of everybody, because you already did all the work at home, so you don't have to wait in line. And then everybody scowls at you. <laughs> oh. All right, there's my mama. We're at lunch now. Um, a little bit of change of plans. We were going to go to Bill Miller's barbecue behind us, but, or there they are, but they're not doing dine-in. So we're just walking right across the parking lot to Denny's. You can't beat classic <laughs> Denny's. All right, all finished with dinner. That was really good, actually. I, I don't know why I didn't think to show you all what I ate, but maybe you don't even care. Next time I would, though, because I like seeing food. I'm a foodie. So now I'm headed to Target. I have to pick up a couple things, um, a few things, actually. And then, or even before, I'm going to stop in at a thrift store just to take a quick peek and see if there's any easy, scannable items that I can find or just really cool vintage sweaters. I'm in the mood for looking at vintage sweaters and jackets, like really cool, bright, like 80s, 90s throwback styles. So I'll check in with you at whichever one I go to first. Yay, this is where we're at first. Target, time to get some necessary items. 
All right. So I think this is about does it. I have some Epsom salts, so just different stress one, and for when you have intense workouts, some stuff. I love the docky teals. Then the stuff for cleaning, I love to have these on hand when I'm photographing and I notice like a little just stain or dirt that didn't come out. Um, these are my favorite makeup removers. It's tied to go. It's the same thing, just to carry with me. I try to keep one when I go thrifting in my purse, so if there's a stain, I can see if it would come out. Um, and then these Atkin protein bars are really good. So those are one of the absolute favorite with the most protein, low sugar, uh, no carbs, of course. So then these are my tides. I do have different scents for different things. This is the general go-to for just most clothes. This one is for all like after the workout, the athletic clothes, leggings, stuff like that. And then this one is for all of the uh, throw blankets and towels. There are all the goodies. Head it to the car. Right, now we are at the Goodwill. So I have about 30 minutes I can comfortably spend in here. I don't know why I hold the phone so close to my face. Um, so let's see. I already told you what I'm kind of looking for. Going for vintage sweaters and jackets. Or anything quick and easy. Brand new, not open, that I can scan for eBay. So 30 minutes, it's about 1.30. So I'll check in with y'all. If I find anything in here. Goodwill. I have a little bag filled with a few items only, but pretty good items, I think. One item is for me, so Whew, the sun's coming out strong. So it is 2.08 and I have two more stops. The first stop is Starbucks. I am going to get me a refreshing beverage and then I have to stop at the 99 cent store to get some uh, larger bags that I use, the Ziploc bags, like for large jackets and sweaters or large boots. Uh, and that's it. So I'm just running in to get those. Starbucks, I'm not running in anywhere. I'll stay in my car. 
and then I'll be home. So let's go. Here we are. One of my favorite places in the entire world, which is sad. This is my refreshing drink. So this is so this is a venti iced green tea matcha, which I really enjoy. Alright. These are the ones that I use. Two gallons. 99 cents. So I also buy these a lot of the times. Um, very good for just like home personal use but also good for really large sweaters as well or very large jackets or boots or any other item um, they also have an extra extra large but I don't see it here so just a place if you have a 99 cent store or I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree um, or anywhere else actually so they're not these maybe but the two gallon bags um, and only for a dollar right I have my 99 cent store stuff um, <laughs> you can see I got some fall decorations for me, some bags, and I'll show y'all in the car. <laughs> oh, isn't that so cute? I mean, it's definitely like a spring, summer thing, but this is a new trash can from my inventory room, because my other one is mesh. These are those bags. I got like five of them. These are towels. So, um, these are the other bags. Let me just from there. These towels are like this. So these are like the pot warmers and then I got a glove as well and then four of these towels and that's going to be just about all my decoration <laughs> for fall. So not bad, um, I'm heading home now. I did see a yard sale sign that's going to be on the route back to my house. So if I happen to come across it, we'll find out together. Um, but if not, I'll see you when I get home and then I want to show the little haul of Goodwill items that I found. Okay, so I'm just showing you all the yard so mm, not gonna get down. Not worth it, I don't think. Alright, here we go. It's looking promising. Alright, they have a little bit of everything. Let's hope I can find just a couple of good things <laughs> and not a bunch of stuff. I am home. I have three bags from Yard Sales, then one bag from Goodwill. So I'm going to, well, I was using these from the 99 cent store to protect some breakables, but I'm going to unpack this stuff and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, here is a quick little overview. So these items I got at a yard sale. This was 50 cents. Um, it's not vintage or anything, but it's just a Guns N' Roses graphic t-shirt. These are little shoes, the Crocs were 50 cents each as well. They're dirty, but I think and hope these will clean up pretty easily. So I'll just throw these in the wash and see how that does. So $1.50 for those three. These vans were $5, which I think was a really good deal. Um, they do need a little bit of like sweater shaving on the inside, but I honestly think they'll clean up great. So these are skate shoes and skate shoes seem to usually always be pretty popular, especially vans. Then this American Eagle pair of jeans, I bought these for $3. Um, they're a size 6, which is my sister's size. I was going to see if she needed any jeans for fall and winter. She wanted to try them, so she can have them. If not, I know I'll still resell them. These items I got, um, not this one, this one's at Goodwill, but these items I got at a kind of like a state sale, but it was the people doing it themselves. So this is an antique. I love dog items. I think dog items do great, especially in 1908. Look at that, made in Brazil. I have no idea who the maker is. I'm not even sure what kind of dog this is, but they were asking $5, so I picked that up because I, I'm excited to learn more about it. Beautiful. I did not see a single flaw on it. Um, this is the stuff I got from the 99 cent store. I was just using that to protect it. Um, so this I picked up at Goodwill. I'll just show you Hershey's chocolate. It was $1.99. It's a huge mug. I mean, it's a big full mug, but um, I don't know if I'm going to sell this. I think I'm going to use it as a gift, like put a bunch of Hershey's chocolate in there or something uh, for a Christmas gift. And then these mugs. So you can't tell too much, but this is clear, green, yellow, and pink. There's two sets of these, which means I have eight, and there's two of every single color. 
I don't know if this is like milk glass. I'm not 100% sure. There's no marking on any of them. They are beautiful glasses. I don't know if I want to sell them. Um, I am going to look them up, but I honestly just would like the idea of keeping these for myself, for our house, because they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, and it's a perfect amount. It's eight glasses, two colors of each, and that's all we would need. So, back to Goodwill. This is one of those like vintage style sweaters I was looking for, so I purchased that one. Um, these weren't at the like 50% off color tag, but this color is really pretty. It's a little dark, um, but made in the USA. Vaho, I don't know that brand, Vahu. <laughs> Gorgeous. This is definitely like a 90s. It screams 90s. Beautiful pink color. And then this. Kate Spade. I'm not 100% sure if it's real. It does have all of this on the inside as well as, there you go, that on the inside. Beautiful bag. $3.99. This sucker was $3.99. There's no flaws on it with the exception of this that might clean off and then that little bit of fading. Um, the hardware, there's nothing that I saw that said Kate Spade, so I'll look it up to see what I can find. There's a little bit of, I guess, wear there, but not really bad. Beautiful. It definitely is 100% leather. It feels like the quality's there, so yep, that's it. Not a bad few miscellaneous items from my outing for uh, Goodwill and garage sales and the 99 cent store, I guess. All right, now it's time for dinner. So I have some bacon wrap stuff, chicken and shrimps. So they're they're stuffed with cheese, jalapeno, and I don't I think that's it. So I'm gonna put those in the oven. Now I'm working on dishes. I'm going to be doing some house chores. Just and here they are. They actually look really good. Those four are the shrimp, and then these two are the chicken however they're extremely small definitely not going to feed four grown adults so looks like this is kind of an appetizer i'm gonna to have to make something else i just got this sweatshirt in from jack who is jack valentine on instagram it is just a classic white nike just a crew neck so i had seen this i want to share some closet so i'm sharing his closet and I noticed the sweater so I asked him what the content was and um, so basically I can do a tie-dye with this because I was, I've been looking for an all-white like a Nike um, Adidas something with you know a little bit of a logo and I'm excited to try this out and we shall see how it does we're at the zoo it's our San Antonio Zoo over there is a walkway, really dark park. Oh, it's pretty lit. Taking the boys for a walk. Alright, now it is time to get down to work. So, I'm working on shoes. I have been selling a lot of shoes. So, I have been sourcing a lot of shoes. Well, actually, I think I've been sourcing a lot of shoes. So, I've been selling a lot of shoes. Therefore, I'm continuing <laughs> to list a lot of shoes. So, I have all of these definitely more of a fall and winter style I also have these here that I'm going to work on. Um, tennies are all the time, but these are new, so I like to get new tennies for fourth quarter, and then some more boots. Um, and then if you watched my epic yard sale haul, and there are the rest of those sash shoes, along with these as well as some more sneakers. So, got a lot to list. That's what I'm going to do now. Um, I do everything on my phone, like literally everything, so... I cannot photograph and vlog and show you guys at the same time, so I'll just kind of check in when I'm finished. I think this vlog will be long enough anyway. 
All right, this is what I finished. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen pairs. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, <laughs> these are the shoes that I still need to photograph. So I'll work on these tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, not bad. So I'm going to prep all these and get some drafts going. This way I can get them listed tomorrow. Now onward. I do want to show you guys my favorite like go-to's for cleaning shoes. So I like these shouts for like fabric materials. So this does actually help uh, get out like just little dirt spots. So I do not use this on like suede or leather. Um, it's kind of same thing for the Lysol wipes. Now this I will actually use on pretty much anything except for fabric materials so I will use this like on leather or any type of like rubber just to give it like a quick wipe down um, mainly when I first get them also inside the house this is a must-have <laughs> so this nail polish remover um, it works wonderful for markings like on the bottom or you know on the sides here if there was like dirt on the whites um, any like try on wear or like sometimes they'll different places will mark like the bottom of the shoe The only thing is rubber soles. I've noticed that it does not work um, And then you have to be careful with some leather soles or if you rub too rough It's going to come right off and then I just put That on a cotton ball and I use that so for the real stubborn ones I'll kind of soak the cotton ball anything that's a little bit fragile I'll just put it a little bit but yeah so those are really the only things that I use the little shout wipe and goes some Lysol wipes just for a general disinfect then nail polish remover and cotton balls and if I can't get the marks off like if I try quickly and that you know letter or price doesn't come off I really don't worry about it I don't think it's that big of a deal on the sole I just like to make sure to try to clean the sides as much as possible so I should have showed you guys I guess a before but these were really dirty and it just cleans up smoothly with the nail polish remover so I am an official mess I'm tired and I'm actually ready to just take a bath and wind down so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here um, if you guys like these kind of like vlog day in the life of a reseller video definitely give it a thumbs up I don't mind filming them um, it's a little bit hard to get into the habit of bringing out your camera for everything but I think that if I do it a few times it'd be no problem um, if you want to see a little bit more like personal life in the day of stuff you know what I do also like the things that I eat or when I play with the dogs go for walks workouts exercise stuff like that uh, let me know also because I can include you know stuff like that in these vlogs I tried to keep this one just a little bit more reseller related content um, but you know of course I don't just do reseller related content in a normal daily life routine so let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye